Come on in. My name is Bill Tobin, and this is your restaurant success tip of the day. Right now at Tiki's, we schedule eight, nine, or 10 servers every night. Um, we five or six during the day, uh, more if we can. We're always short servers, but we also found that on a, on a semi-regular basis, if you are scheduling eight, nine, or 10 people a night, inevitably, one will have to call out sick. Um, sometimes they can't find a babysitter. Sometimes they really are ill. Sometimes uh, something's come up with a uh, family member. All those things are understandable. We have paid time off for our staff. Um, and so I think that increases a little bit as well, PTO, what we call. But we also hold them accountable for their shift. So if they know that they have some family function or they know they're going to miss work, we ask them to get their shifts covered. Regardless, sometimes that doesn't happen and we need to cover the shift. We found that one of the most effective ways to do that is on the schedule, we also schedule an on-call person. Now, our shifts start at four, staggered shifts after four o'clock, 3.30 or four o'clock, and our on-call person has to call in at two o'clock. It's part of their responsibility of being on-call that they have to call in at two o'clock. Sometimes we don't need them to call in because we've already texted them to tell them that they have to come in. But if they haven't heard from us, they text or call in to see if they're working. We hold them accountable just like it's a regular shift, but it also helps us be fully staffed on the nights that somebody might call in. There's a lot of peer pressure amongst the servers that if you call in because you wanna to go to some friend's barbecue, and somebody, the on-call has to come and cover your shift, people are gonna find out about it and you're gonna create bad blood within the server, the server department. So we don't have a lot of abuse of people using the on-call. Um, like I said, there are reasons, the legitimate reasons that people can't come to work. We totally understand that. And the on-call person usually understands that just fine too. They might not be happy with, oh, I got to work tonight, I was on call, but they understand it. We get the shift covered and we have enough staff and people appreciate that we're not understaffed and they appreciate that something can cover their shift if they can't cover it themselves. So your task for today, start considering on-call shifts for your departments that have several people every shift. Now go make it happen. Do you have a comment or a tip for restaurant leaders? Text me at 808-201-0550 or find me at restaurantleadership365.com. This is Bill Tobin, thanks for coming in. See you tomorrow.